Eurosense DDS and Eurosense DPS Axolot sensor configuration. We will start with DDS sensor. Download the configurator from our website and unpack. Connect the Eurosense destination adapter to the laptop. Select the operating mode of the USB adapter. Launch the configurator. If there was an error opening the port, then check the adapter connection or manually select the port in the settings. We can see proper port number in the Windows Device Manager. Connect the sensor to the adapter. In the Information tab we can see sensor data, type, serial number and software version. In the Configuration tab we can set the sensor's address. If several sensors will be used in the system, each of them should have its own unique address. If several calibration tables will be used in one sensor, then it is possible to switch on the use of an extended range and set the address for each calibration table. In the same tab, we can set the averaging time of the data and the thresholds of the detector. You can set a longer time for smoother sensor readings. Threshold values are used as filter settings. Sensor will ignore values which differ from last average data more than threshold value. In our example, a system with two sensors will be used. A DDS displacement sensor will be installed on a truck with a spring suspension and a DPS pressure sensor on a trailer with air suspension. For the displacement sensor, set address 1. In the calibration tab, we see the sensor angle in radians at the current moment. In this window, you can specify the amount of cargo portions per one record. If you plan to calibrate the system not only empty and full, but also adding intermediate points. Adding entries create a calibration table. There should be at least two entries. for an unloaded axis and when fully loaded. Also here you can create several calibration tables. You can make calibration table at server side, which in some cases may be more convenient because can be done remotely. But in this case you will need to put some dummy values there to make sensor work inside minimum and maximum possible load. So your dummy detector value for loaded truck should be bigger than possible maximum value. After adding all the records, don't forget to press the Save Calibration Data button. You can save or load the configuration or calibration table. In the setting tab, you can select the language and choose the COM port. The last tab contains information about the software. Setting of Eurosense DPS sensors are very similar. In the configuration tab, we can set the address for the sensor. In our example, the sensor will be used under address 2 because under address 1 we already use a displacement sensor. In the calibration tab we see the voltage and pressure values at the given moment. The principle of calibration is the same as in the displacement sensor. In the software update tab you can update the sensor firmware or reset it to the factory settings. Let's make settings in GPS tracker using NevTelecom Smart 2435 as an example. Launch the tracker configurator. Select Configuration. Go to the Serial Interfaces tab. Device 1 select Fuel Level Sensor. Connect Sensor 1 and connect Sensor 2. We select Address 1 for DDS Sensor, Address 2 for DPS Sensor.
Next, go to the protocol settings tab, select serial fuel level sensor and set sensor 1 and 2 in the level and temperature columns. Save configuration to the GPS tracker. Then, in the telemetry window, we can see instant XLO data from two sensors.